Now in the next three questions we're asked some fairly basic probabilities and in this part of the video I'll run through all three because they're fairly short. So in part B we've got to work out the probability that no one takes any exercise in this random sample. So if no one takes any exercise it's got to be this seven, seven out of a total of a hundred people. So that would be seven out of a hundred. Or you could write that as a decimal if you want. That's going to be 0 0.07. Either one is going to be okay. And for C, the probability that someone swims but does not run. So if someone swims but does not run, then we've got to look at the swimming circle here. But the people that do not run are going to be these three people and these five people. They're going to swim but not run. So we've got a total then of 3 plus 5. Let's just put that down then as 8 out of all of the people. Again, 8 out of 100. Or if you want as a decimal, 0 0.08. Okay. So the last part here, D, the probability that in this random sample that there's at least two people that take some form of exercise. Okay, so let's have a look how many people take at least two sets of exercise. Well, you've got these 15 people that do running and swimming, 10 people do running and cycling, and five people do swimming and cycling. And then you've got these 25 people that do all three. So it's just a case of adding up 10, 15, 5 and the 25. And if you do that, you're going to get a total of 55. 55 people then out of 100. Or as a decimal, you can have that as 0.55. Again, it's up to you. So uh, there you go. There's your three probabilities there.